we have seen almost all the functionalities inside the home page we have seen how to display view more data whenever i click on this view more related to this the data should be displayed for me you can see here i am having all this data and whenever i click on brands related to that the data should be displayed for me and when i click on categories related to that i will be getting information and when i search for that related to the keyword i am getting this result now we are done with almost everything now when i click on this view more i am having all these things now inside this product details i don't want this view more button okay later on i am just going to change it to go home because inside the same page i just don't want this button so i'll be writing go home okay now in this we are going to see about cart we are going to understand how to create cart functionality and also we are going to create simple cart table now here i have just opened now this is my cart now inside this cart i am having multiple items here okay the items are stored inside the cart okay all the items are stored we are having plenty of items inside this cart and this items whatever items i am having here this entire items are not bought by single user there will be multiple users inside this one okay now for suppose this one there is another user suppose for this one there is another user for this one another user for this one okay each and every time we are having different users maybe the same user whatever user i am having here the same user has ordered for this item again here i am having one user and this user and this user has ordered the same item which is been stored inside the cart okay now we are having multiple items inside the cart and also we are having multiple users who have ordered that items okay now to access that users whoever is ordering inside this one we have to get some identification of the user so that we can get to know which item belongs to which user so for that we are going to use ip address now i am working inside my system so in my system i am going to have one ip address now if you are working in your system then in your system you will be having one ip address so in the same way each and every system will be having their own unique ip addresses so using that ip address we can access the user and we can tell that this item belongs to that user so now we are going to see how to do that one but this concept you have to understand inside this card we will be having multiple items and these items are not bought by single user there will be multiple users inside this cart okay who has bought the items and that items will be stored inside the cart using ip address we are going to identify the user and also using that ip address we are going to fetch their information if they are having any pending orders or whatever it is we are going to fetch that data but as of now i am working in my local host so i will be having the same ip address for all the users now if i log in two users for two users also i'll be having the same ip address because i am working in local host so you should not get confused now inside this whenever we are working our ip address will be colon 1 okay we are going to get this kind of ip address so you should not get confused what is this one okay even if you are working in local host then even you will be getting this ip address even you are going to get this kind of ip address so whenever i log in using two users i am going to get the same ip address so i will be able to access only the first data information whatever user i am having at the first position only that data i am going to access okay now later on when we host this website then we will be having different ip addresses user can log in from different systems and they will be having different ip addresses okay we are going to see that later in category 2 now in this we are just going to focus on this ip address how to get this ip address and how to create cart table now i'll just come to local host now inside this here i'm having my database my store inside this i'm just going to create cart table now here inside this my store i'll just click on new i'm going to create new table i'll just give the table name as cart details okay whatever name you want you can give it completely depends on your choice now here i'm just going to give cart details then first i'm just going to give here product id i'll just give here product id then i'm just going to give the ip address okay this ip address is nothing but the ip address of the system ip address and then finally i'm just going to give how many quantity that user needs okay if you don't give quantity then also no problem but if we give then it will be good now inside this i just don't want if you want you can give time as well it completely depends on your logic it completely depends on you whatever you want to store inside the cart but as of now i just want to display this product id i want to store ip address and also the quantity of the cart 
Now for product ID, I'll just give the data type as int. For int, I'm not going to give any length. For IP address, I'll just give the data type as varchar and also size, I'm just going to give here 255. Quantity, let it be int and size, I'm just going to give here 100. I'll just scroll down. Now for this product ID, I'll just come here. Here, I'm just going to give here auto increment. Okay, auto increment we have already discussed. Each and every time it is going to increment the value by 1. As soon as we give auto increment, inside this null index, we are going to have this primary key. Now, I'll just come down. Okay, this is the card table. Now, whenever user adds some item inside the card, that data will be stored inside this card. I'll just click on save. Now, you can see the table has been created. Inside this table, I'm having product ID, IP address and quantity. Now, I'll just show you the demo of the project. Now, here I'll just add to cart. Item is added to cart. Okay, one item is added here. I'll just come here. I'll just come to this e-commerce project. Now, inside this, I'm just going to open cart details. You can see the IP address is colon colon 1 and the product ID is 5 and quantity is 0. Okay, later on, whenever user orders this one, whenever user confirms the payment, then we are going to increase the quantity. Still, user has not logged in. Okay, still user has not given any confirmation how many items he want or she want. So, we are just having here zero quantity. Okay, later on we are going to see. You don't have to get confused with this data, whatever it is stored. Okay, this is the product ID. That is the fifth data is stored. Then we are having this IP address. Whatever code we are going to write, using that code we are going to access this IP address. And I will be telling you how to access the IP address of the system. Then here we are just having this quantity. Okay, this is how we are just going to store the cart information. Now, here I have already created this one. I have created cart details table. Inside that, we are having this three columns. Now, inside this, I will be writing here get IP address function in PHP. Okay, you just have to write that one get IP address function in PHP. You will be having plenty of sources here. Whichever you want, you can just pick that one. Okay, I'm just going to click on this first link. Okay, we are having plenty of solutions for that. And I'm just telling you how to access that one. Okay, inside this website, okay, this website, I'll just come down. Okay, here they have given everything. In detail, if you want, you can study. You can see we are having this function. Okay, function of getting the IP address. I'll just open my folder. I'll just open this one, open with code. Now, whatever code I am having here to get the IP address of the user, I am just going to copy from here. Okay, even you can copy, you can read this one to understand what it is happening and how we are getting this IP address. Okay, if you are not understanding or if you are not getting, then also no problem. Okay, this is just for beginner project and intermediate level project. Once you keep on making projects of e-commerce websites, then you will understand this by yourself. If you are not understanding now, then also no problem. You can just copy the code from here and you can use in your project. Now, I have opened my project file inside VS Code Editor. Now, inside common functions.php, I am just going to copy the entire code. Okay, from here, I am just going to copy. From functions, I will just copy. And till here, I will just copy this one. And inside this common functions.php, I will just come below. Here at the end, I am just going to write one comment. I will just write here get IP function. Here, I will just write get IP address function below this i'm just going to paste that one whatever i have copied i am just pasting that one okay even you can do the same thing and using this you will be getting the ip address i'll save this now inside index.php i'm just going to call this function i'll copy this function and inside index.php wherever you want you can just call that function to check whether it is working or not now here below this i'm just going to call that function Okay, they have already called this function. I'll just copy these two lines of code. I'll comment here. And inside this index.php, I'm just going to paste that one. Okay, I'm just accessing that one. I'm just calling this function. I'm just displaying this data. Okay, now we are going to get one error. I'll be telling you what is the error. I'll come to my project. Now, if I refresh this one. Okay, now, I'm inside product details.php. Let me just come to home page. Now, you can see here I got this error call to undefined function empty empty. Even if you are copying the code from this website, then you are going to get this error. You can see here I am having undefined function empty empty. Now, what is this? Now, inside common function, I have just copied the code, whatever is available to me. I have just copied that one. I have pasted here. 
but if you notice here we are having empty empty two times i just have to remove one time here i'll be writing not empty here also i'll be writing not empty i'll save this i'll come here now if i refresh this one you can see that error will go and also we are going to get the ip address here i am getting this result user real ip address this is how we are going to get this user real ip address okay you just have to copy the code paste that code and wherever you want you can call that function and you can check for the result okay as of now i am not going to call i'll just comment this from here okay later on we are going to use this and using this ip address we are going to access the data from the cart